My name is Colin Mitchell. I'm a Sustainable Agriculture Specialist at the National Center for Appropriate Technology Southwest Office in San Antonio, Texas. We're here today at PBC Farms in Mission, Texas in the lower Rio Grande Valley. And we'll be looking at sun hemp as a cover crop option in hot and humid areas. Sun hemp originated in India and has been used there for generations. It is a non-wood fiber crop. It's a livestock forage crop and it can be used as a green manure as we are in a crop rotation like here at PBC Farms. Sun hemp is a great option as a cover crop because its ability to smother weeds, recycle nutrients, and improve soil conditions. As you can see, it produces a ton of biomass with its height. Often it goes three to nine feet tall. I'm six foot four, so this one's already almost five feet tall, and this was planted about 55 days ago. Um, it can produce over 5,000 pounds of biomass per acre as planted as an annual and over 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre as planted as an annual. And that's typically within 60 to 90 days. So you'll see this start to flower soon. Uh, you can see that it's already got buds coming up. So it's going to be reaching maturity in the next 20 to 30 days. And it's going to grow even more before that. In addition to sun hemp's benefits in reducing erosion, both from wind and water, recycling nutrients, Covering and cooling the soil, it also suppresses parasitic nematodes. There's also been evidence that it fosters beneficial nematodes as well. My name is Lindsay Richards and I'm the Senior Research Technician for the Subtropical Soil Health Initiative for the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. There are several different types of varieties of sun hemp. This seed is sourced from Petcher Seeds, who sources their seeds from other hot and humid climates. So it's, it's a, more appropriate to plant in the lower Rio Grande Valley. We planted sun hemp at 30 pounds and 60 pounds per acre to look at the weed suppression suppression potential and we timed it with the rain so this field is non-irrigated. One thing we made sure of when we timed it with the rain is to ensure adequate moisture when the field level is at least 20 percent. We've had difficulty terminating cover crops in the Rio Grande Valley in an organic no-till herbicide free system. Many of the organic no-till termination recommendations in scientific literature are from areas where these cover crops can be winter killed. Snow and frost terminates the cover crops and leaves a mat of material that covers the soil until spring planting. In the Rio Grande Valley, there is very rarely a freeze and it is brief. Sun hemp is one of the only cover crops we have seen that can be effectively terminated with a roller crimper without the use of herbicides or winter kill and can work in a no-till system. To determine if sun hemp is ready to be terminated with a roller crimper, go into the field and start snapping plants a few inches above the mare's stem. If several of the plants snap consistently, the sun hemp plot is ready for termination. Flowering is not a good indicator of termination readiness. Thank you for watching our videos. Follow us on Facebook at MCAT Southwest for more updates about the project.